Hello and welcome back. This would be the part two of Windows updates in Microsoft Intune. Uh, to configure uh, our software updates, you can go back to the software updates in the Microsoft Intune Blade and this is how it, it actually goes the uh, dashboard. There are two dashboards. One would be the overall dashboard, other one would be the ring specific uh, dashboard. For example, in the previous section, we previous lecture, in fact, we created um, Windows 10 specific update ring and this also uh, have a different policies which we created. Uh, we created only uh, for uh, monthly patch management and if you can look at the overview, this is how it's going to show you. 50% of this uh, missions has succeeded and other one has the conflict. This specific conflict uh, I did intentionally created because um, because just to the dashboard to you know show in here uh, because I did actually created 1803 policy also post to the demo just to explain and that's what I'm gonna do it in this specific uh, election so uh, the conclusion uh, as of now would be the if you want to configure software updates you would be going to the software updates and this is not the live uh, dashboard this is not the live so the live dashboard will come up based on your uh, rings or maybe uh, based on your policies so here windows updates rings has been created multiple rings we would be definitely creating and we would be targeting to the required um, ad groups so in this case uh, there is another group also created uh, which is 1803 the reason for 1803 we created is the the ring which we have created earlier was the configuration Epoch for 1903 that is a semi-annual not for the semi-annual channel target so one of the machines um, or we wanted to target for 1803 uh, we did even in the previous demo uh, also created 1803 specific AD group but we did not assign that AD group any of the uh, any of the uh, settings so that's what we're going to do it now so it, I just wanted to explain here uh, 1803 specific the settings remains the same settings remains the same except um, except the uh, except the annual targeted would be in you know, a selected here uh, this is what we're gonna select it and the remaining settings are remain same for example I did configure 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. because of my uh, demo time um, I don't want to you know, demonstrate between that time but in your case if it is active I was uh, definitely in a production 8 a.m. to 9 or maybe a 6 p.m. Um, that's how you are going to configure and post to that maybe the patches gets you know updated um, these specific settings other than this everything is the almost the production uh, similar settings what I have configured and um, once I've uh, configured these specific settings I did actually applied uh, for the assignment of uh, 1803 only specific machines which we created AD group in the previous demonstration or I did show you uh, in the uh, Azure AD and now um, now what happened is uh, since these machines are uh, part of uh, two different uh, collections one would be the all Windows 10 devices collection as well as the 1803 specific device collection that's where the conflict came and it was showing as the conflicted and if I just go to the error specific uh, here uh, in this uh, by selecting here one of them uh, it's it's actually showing as a one only one device is uh, success other devices has a conflict and if I go for the uh, on premises one one of the devices successfully upgraded or installed all the required patches and that specific information I can actually drill down further based on the compliance level and that uh, this complaints level should be uh, already applied post uh, complaints level succeeded you can actually configure the uh, you, you would be actually getting in the device configuration for that specific uh, ring so in this case updates ring were uh, fully evaluated and it got success that means all these specific settings if you remember um, like future update past start or these all the values like Windows drivers you want to install or you want to pause it all these specific settings are actually coming out of our specific policy which has a 21 different settings so all these 21 different settings which are actually coming out of that specific uh, device settings uh, that's how uh, you would be you know checking if you have any problems you would be actually going back to that specific device by selecting for example I just select a uh, conflicting device for example this device is nowhere evaluated because this is completely in offline in my environment so it, it never um, never has been you know evaluated to the specific policy that's why it's showing as a painting otherwise uh, you would be normally getting the the data here and uh, let me go back to other devices in this case the uh, conflict device 
I'll just select the uh, config device as JG uh, or J uh, computer uh, here if you can you know look at the uh, specific to the JG, J computer uh, by selecting here this specific setting of that uh, device has completely um, completely the configuration was conflicting with another policy so let's see 1803 specific is conflicting because this specific setting uh, were applied in the windows ring as well as an 1803 specific uh, uh, setting so there are two rings which are conflicting with the same configuration and similarly if you can see here service in channel one says that hey you go for 1803 uh, specific targeted other one would be you know go for the uh, update ring and monthly uh, cycle so it's getting conflicted so it's not acting anything so otherwise um, this uh, conflict wouldn't uh, wouldn't happen so I just wanted to demonstrate um, these are the common problems or common conflicts you may expect if you don't organize properly your as your AD groups or your security groups uh, because the at the end we are going to target based on the AD group so we should be uh, properly configured and some of the settings are not applied uh, not applicable even uh, for example this specific block uh, uses uh, uses uh, this specific setting because this specific setting applies uh, maybe 1903 onwards so this the mission is you know of still on 1903 so this specific setting is not uh, applicable this is how you would be you know um, testing a different group of machines and then you would be pushing up the patches so as per the Microsoft as per my experience too you need to actually patch and maintain your machines to a certain patch level that means uh, all the missions should uh, initially you uh, you need to bring to a certain state and later point apply these uh, policies otherwise um, if your missions are in a different service channel as and date you have to bring to a certain state of all the missions to the same kind of uh, state so that it actually helps you uh, or the intune policies gets you know properly applied you will not be uh, getting so many errors uh, the best uh, way would be the apply or bring your devices all devices to a uh, right state so that that really helps to you a lot when it's in the right state it would be the same state of all devices otherwise one device in the a state and others other device may be with the b patches required and one more device maybe a C patch or something like that it would lead to a lot of confusion it's hard to manage uh, in other way let's go back to the um, other settings like you know you can you know check for the policies and you can check for the update ring specific and how many patches has success uh, all that information would be you know available uh, from the device specific settings also here um, this mission is successful on prem so these are the values you would be you know uh, getting into it if you get into travel you can always go back to the help and support and take the help from Microsoft uh, Intune or a Microsoft Intune support team uh, that's how it's gonna uh, manage one other option last option I wanted to discuss uh, within the software updates would be uh, rings once you created you want to you know uh, stop for some time if the uh, patching is happening and you found that uh, there could be some issues or causing uh, because of this patches you want to stop it you can always go for here uh, as a pass option and similarly uh, this is going to be you know give you two more options like features updates you want to stop or quality updates you can choose that monthly quality or uh, feature update options and also you have something called um, an install so if you are uh, specific to you know uh, want to you know, roll back some kind of you know settings you can always roll back um, by selecting these options like you know if you're sure you can click on that so that it's gonna roll back the quality updates or a specific you know feature updates like if the devices are uh, upgraded from uh, 1703 to 1803 for example okay then you can you know roll back from 1803 to 1703 if that specific build is not suitable for you so all these are kind of you know different configurations can be configured or uh, you can also resume it if you uh, pause uh, once you pause it you can actually um, resume this specific setting or you can also extend uh, the feature updates so it's going to be extended uh, for the maximum 35 up of 35 days so that's how users can be you know how install that specific updates so these are the features which you have it um, uh, within the within the uh, software updates groups these are very limited in other way but it's very straightforward and um, this helps an easy way for uh, managing any any kind of you know device uh, 
if you compare with SCCM, yes, SCCM will show you a lot of updates and you would be, you have the flexibility to choose what updates to be pushed out. But in this case, you no need to choose any of the updates. Uh, it's Microsoft who's going to you know, recommend you because Microsoft uh, does that security and assessment and the security configurations or because it, it's, it's completely responsibility comes from the Microsoft security side. So uh, for the patch management, of course, you have to create uh, these rings and you have to push out uh, what updates to be uh, what updates when I say you know uh, whether uh, it's not specific to the patch numbers or KBs or it's just about you know uh, it's just about to push the uh, updates so that you're bringing the missions to the latest compliance level that's how it's gonna work at this point of time the recording of uh, 2019 September you don't have uh, this option to select a specific updates but uh, we never know that you know Microsoft may release such options in future thank you for watching this